Hi, just a quick video primarily for other YouTube content creators out there and there are a ton of them if you don't know I've done videos looking at the uh, stats before. I think last time I looked there were like 180,000 YouTube channels gr with greater than 100,000 subscribers, i.e. with a YouTube Silver Award, it could already be up to 200,000 channels. It's absolutely phenomenal. So there's tons of large channels out there. It's absolutely incredible. So I did show in, I did discuss recently in my huge YouTube ad changes video, which I'll link in if you haven't seen it, where I mentioned automated YouTube upload backup for want of a better term, alternatives out there because every YouTube content creator should not be relying on you on the YouTube platform alone to host your content. You're crazy. There are free, simple, automated alternatives out there for backing up your content. Why would you want to back up your content? Well, if you're silly enough not to keep your original files, and you should, I've kept every single file and everything, every single raw video file from my camera ever since video number one, like 11 and a half years ago, or however long I've been on YouTube. So you should have backup copies of your videos. So if your YouTube channel gets terminated or suspended or whatever, your videos get deleted or something like that, you have a backup and you can re-upload. Because the problem is these days is you're more likely to have a video struck down, deleted or suspended or whatever based on, oh, it's harassment or it's some other bullshit uh, excuse because the automated algorithm botters came along and found some naughty words in there or it thinks are naughty and takes down your video. It's ridiculous. It's happened to content creators everywhere not to mention that your channel could be uh, deleted if you get uh, three strikes in a day or whatever poof the channel's just gone I did a recent video on uh, Jordan uh, Pyre's channel he got his channel back by the way once again YouTube gave no reason for it they just is channel just magically reappeared. So thanks to everyone um, who actually uh, voiced an opinion on that, copied YouTube on Twitter and all sorts of stuff. And yeah, he just got his account back, but they never tell you why it's vanished. Now, automated backups, seriously important to do. Any YouTuber who doesn't do it, after I show you how easy and simple it is, um, is just crazy. Now, if your video gets deleted, you can't just go to your fans out there and say, oh, YouTube deleted my video, please. Uh, can everyone contact YouTube and help get it reinstated? This is bullshit, blah, 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 right? If people haven't seen your video, they can't really defend you. They don't know, okay, you might always upload the same type of content and everyone knows it's BS, right? But hey, people might go, well, I haven't seen the video. I'm not going to defend whether or not it should have been taken down or not, et cetera, et cetera. But if you have a backup, automated backup copied onto another platform, then you can point people to that video and go, go and watch it. Here's, here's the video that they took down and it's date and time stamped and everything. So you know, everyone knows it's legit. You've got evidence to actually fight the videos being taken down. So anyway, automated backups. Now, I've mentioned uh, Library before. I've got my Library channel. I think it's one of the best YouTube alternatives out there, and it is fully automated. Go, I, I've got 37,398 followers now, not uh, subscribers. They're called followers on Library. And uh, you just go to library.com slash YouTube, and they will autom you know, just sign up. I believe in for some people in some countries, there's some credit card thing required. I don't know. Some people are saying that. I, I never encountered it. Don't know what the deal is. But anyway, no, it should be free to sign up for library. If it's not, um, contact Tom down here. Um, they're very responsive on uh, Twitter and um, emails and stuff. Anyway, they will very happily sign up every... Uh, YouTube content creator. Anyway, you go in there, it takes like maybe five or 10 minutes tops, and then they will automatically copy over your entire back catalog up to a thousand videos, I think they're uh, saying. But anyway, your entire back catalog of videos, and er then every time you upload a new video, it will be automatically within hours, maybe up to a day, it depends um, on various circumstances. But usually mine are copied over in a, in a couple of hours. I've got an automated backup there. It's set and forget. Uh, why are you not doing it? And it pulls it across in full 1080p 
as well, which is absolutely fantastic. So yeah, totally automated process and you get it in full HD and you can earn library credits as well, but I won't go into that. I've done videos on that. So simple, just go over here, sign up. Now, the other alternative is uh, BitChute. Of course, I've got a BitChute page. I've only got 1,583 uh, subscribers, but once again, it is automated. All you do is you set up your channel on here. It takes, you know, five or 10 minutes or something. You go into your settings down here and if you scroll down, uh, it'll you can there's a spot where you can put in your YouTube uh, channel ID which you can get from your YouTube thing and then bingo once you put that in it'll automatically copy over your new videos I don't think it copies over your existing back catalog but once you set it up it's completely automated the only problem with BitChute is that uh, it only copies over your videos in 480p. So if we go in here and we watch, say, uh, state of the art in microcurrent op amps, for example, and then we go full screen, let's, Hi, let's I play I'd it. Show you one of the more yeah, interesting. Yeah, aspects shut up. Of Jeez, he's got an annoying voice, doesn't he? <laughs> anyway, you'll see that it might actually the resolution might get a bit better, but it's going to be only 480. P. Things like screen captions and stuff don't look very good at all. It's much better on uh, libraries. No, it's fine for like talking head videos, stuff like that, but not really any good. But still, you should have an automated backup there so at least people can see it. Once again, it's like five, ten minutes to set up, cost you nothing, completely hands off. You don't ever have to go there, you don't ever have to touch it, and you've got an automated backup. Now, I've mentioned these two before, but in my last video, I didn't mention two new alternatives. Now, uh, Daily Motion is one of them. I've got a Daily Motion account. I've got, uh, I've only got 17,000 views total, 85 followers. Come on, follow me on Daily Motion. But I've got 1,100 videos on Daily Motion. And uh, look, it's automatically imported my latest video over here, my USB soldering iron. It took about a day to get over, but there's a trick. Daily Motion does not have this capability. I use a third party tool, and I'll show you that in a minute. And also Vimeo as well, uh, although I've got the like the pro paid version of Vimeo because it gets me more uploads. Anyway, I've got 1290 videos on there and 343 followers. Come on, follow me on. <laughs> Vimeo. Anyway, um, I've I've got all my videos now. That this did Vim, Vimeo like Daily Motion doesn't have an automated uh, transfer backup thing built in from YouTube. I use this same third-party tool. I'll show you in, in a second. So Vimeo before I've had to like bulk upload my videos there, and that's why they have like the file name. Like I don't bother uh, doing it because the problem with these alternative platforms is there's no automated solution available. It's a pain in the ass for us creators to have to upload videos separately to each one. And then not only do you got to upload the video, you got to do the titles, uh, the thumbnails, the descriptions and, you know, others and links and other uh, stuff. And it's just for a small audience. It's just not like on that platform. It's just not worth it. So that's why automated solutions. Now for daily motion and for Vimeo, um, I use this tool and I'm not being paid to do this. I just found it's the only tool that will actually do it, um, which is uh, transferringvideos.com. Now, let me show you this over here. I'll go to the, because I've got to be logged out to do it. So uh, what is it? It's that helps you transfer videos from one social media to another, but it also does like automated processes to pull your latest video from YouTube and upload it onto these other uh, platforms, including Daily Motion um, and Vimeo as well, and uh, Facebook too, although I'm not doing it on Facebook. I'm just trialing it on uh, Vimeo at the moment, and well, I'm getting blank thumbnails, as you saw. Anyway, this thing is not free, but hey, it's, you know, I'm, I'm on the paid 89, I paid 90 euros for uh, 12 months, unlimited uploads, multiple platforms, videos in bulk, uh, live stream, download to the cloud, trim videos, and you can do other, you know, and uh, full HD uh, video quality. So yeah, I've, I've been experimenting this in the last couple of days with my Vimeo account here, and it looks like it hasn't copied over the thumbnail to Vimeo. So I'm not sure if that automated, it did do one of them, which is weird. Anyway, transferringvideos.com uh, and bulk transfers here. You can see that I've got 
I'm I'm going from YouTube. It's a bit quirky to use, so just you know, bear with it. And it does require you to sign in, oh, sign into Google to give YouTube API access. And but the good thing is, is it pulls your videos in full HD. So if we go to Daily Motion over here, and I look at one of once again that video here, it'll start out. Come on, you can do it. Hi, I go full screen. Look at this. More interesting it's already better. Of design, and I'm sure oh, I've shut, shut up. HD quality, auto, 1080p. There you go. Look, look. Yeah, it just switched. It took like five, ten seconds, and it's stream streaming in full HD quality on Daily Motion. Absolutely fantastic. So all these videos are or uh, automatically transferred how do i get rid of that so yep i've got 1100 videos on daily motion and they've been i've been using this for the last year uh this transfer in videos thing and it is transferred every single video over automatically backed up in full hd absolutely fantastic now of course one of the things might be if that uh, these automated backup systems don't pull your video over in time before it gets deleted struck down or whatever um then uh, it's got this transferring videos has this option here to up when you upload a new video so if we just upload a video here title and description a random like this and we publish it of course i've just got a gift but it could be you know you upload your latest video and then what platforms do you want to uh, post your video to? So potentially it has the opportunity to upload onto, like to upload your file once, and then it will spread it out onto YouTube, Twitter. Can Twitter have videos? I guess it does, but nah, who the heck uses that? Facebook, Vimeo, and Daily Motion. So unfortunately it won't publish to library and stuff like that. So if you go the route of um, upload using this um, automated sharing tool, so to speak, to publish onto multiple platforms. You still have to go onto the others, but you can set those up automatically. So once this pulls it over to YouTube, then it'll automatically be on these other platforms, Facebook, Vimeo, and Daily Motion, uh, even if it gets struck down before uh, it gets before YouTube actually releases the video because YouTube is a problem here. Um, these other Facebook might censor you, I guess, but uh, yeah, Vimeo and Daily Motion and Library and BitChute certainly don't. So yeah, there could be an argument there why you shouldn't upload to YouTube first and then rely on the automated tools because it could get struck down before they're uploaded. But anyway, I, I haven't used this uh, feature yet, so it, it's potentially there if you want to look into it. So yeah, um, this does like a, I'll show you this. I'm experimenting with video at, uh, Vimeo at the moment and you can do like bulk transfers and, and stuff like that. So I'm, I've set up these bulk transfers and like you can only do eight per day, um, which is uh, a limitation if you want to bulk transfer stuff. But if you've only got it, but once again, this will run in the background every day and pull over your latest video automatically. And it'll do that to Facebook as well. Although I haven't experimented with Facebook. So it'll do Daily Motion, Vimeo, uh, and Facebook as well. So there you go. Um, but that's a paid solution and requires API access. But you have to give API access as a professional YouTuber to like uh, TubeBuddy, for example. Um, absolutely essential tool. But anyway, there you go. Um, please share this video with every content creator you care about because a lot of them like they just either don't think it's going to happen to them, the channel's going to be deleted, videos are going to be deleted or whatever, but we see it time and time again. How many times do we have to see this before uh, content creators uh, realize that they should be on alternative platforms, even if they don't support? You know, a lot of people don't like BitChute for some reason. They don't like Library uh, for some reason. They don't like, uh, you know, Daily Motion for some reason. They don't like this and don't like Facebook and whatever. Fine, but at least have your videos backed up on there. There's absolutely no excuse for it. 10 minutes work to set it up. Uh, library and BitChute are both uh, free. 10 minutes, hands off, done, backed up. Anyway, please share this with content creators you care about because everyone needs to have a backup from YouTube and, uh, and just their automated bots just going berserk and taking down channels and videos galore. Anyway, that's it. Catch you next time.